Vocabulary When we read, sometimes we will come to a word and we may not know what it means. We can ask our teachers, our parents, or someone else to help us figure out what the word means. But good readers will use prior knowledge and context clues to help them figure it out on their own. By using context clues and prior knowledge, we will become better readers. Prior knowledge is using what you already know to help you figure out what the word means. For example, these cookies are homemade by my grandmother. We see the word homemade. If we use our prior knowledge, we can figure out what the word means. In the word homemade, I see the word home. Home is a place where I live. I also see the word made in homemade. Made means to make or create something. So homemade must mean to make or create something at home. When something is homemade, it is made at home and not in a factory, a store, a bakery, or a restaurant. So another way of saying these cookies are homemade by my grandmother would be these cookies are made at home by my grandmother. Let's try another one. Use your prior knowledge to determine what the word bedclothes means. After her bath, Cindy put on her bedclothes. I see the word bed in bedclothes, and bed is a place where I sleep. I also see the word clothes in bedclothes. Clothes are things I wear, like pants, shirts, shorts, and dresses. Bedclothes must mean clothes I wear to bed, or pajamas. After her bath, Cindy put on her pajamas. This is another way of saying Cindy put on her bedclothes. Another strategy good readers use to help them figure out words they may not know is to use context clues. Context clues are clues that appear in the context of what you're reading. The context is the sentence the word is in, or the sentences before or after it. Some context clues give the definition of the word. Take this sentence for example. A calf, which is a baby cow, is standing next to its mother. Notice how the sentence tells you what a calf means. It gives the definition, baby cow. Another way context clues help us is to give examples of the word. Let's take a look at this sentence. There was a lot of debris, like empty cups, wrappers, napkins, paper, and cans all over the park. The sentence gives examples. The examples are empty cups, wrappers, napkins, paper, and cans. These examples help us to figure out the meaning of the word debris, or trash. Some context clues will use words that are similar to the word. For example, there was an insect crawling up on the wall. My dad caught the bug and put him outside. Notice that the sentence uses a word similar to insect when it used the word bug. Let's use context clues to figure out the underlined word in each sentence, and then tell if the context clue was a definition, a similar word, or an example of the unknown word. Okay, here's the first sentence. The lock jammed or got stuck and we could not open the door. I think jammed means to get stuck in this sentence. The context clues gave the definition. Here is another sentence. Paul illustrated the pictures in this book. The pictures he drew were very nice. I think the word illustrated in this sentence means to draw. The context clues use a similar word. And here's the final example. We love to eat our vegetables, like carrots, tomatoes, peas, and green beans. I think the word vegetables are something healthy that we eat, like carrots, tomatoes, peas, and green beans. The context clues gave us examples.